Hello there. Um, I just want to prove to you yet again how the multi-agency framework don't care, don't give a shit. Private companies don't give a shit. They don't care about you as an individual and as a person. All they care about is whether they can extort you out of further money. So basically, our utility bills want to put on 45%. 45%. And you know what? I sort of want to say to all the people in Great Britain right now, maybe we should all do this. I've told them, sod your gas pipe. You want to play funny buggers with me? You want to put 45% on my gas? Yeah? Then I will put myself through this. So I'm going to continue and do this live because this is how much private companies give a shit. Now, at the end of the day, I have lived through three addresses here, right? And Southern Electric have taken 2,500 off of Ding and they've taken about the same off of me, right? Then they don't want to sit there and discuss the bills. They have done nothing but add interest and things on sending people to my door to discuss a debt with me that I keep telling them, will you please put your debt right because you've taken 2,500 off Ding, which we can prove because it was taken directly from his universal credits. And so, yeah, so anyway... They have increased my bills and all of your bills by 45%. So I think we should disconnect our services. And it's not going to be diff easy for a bit. But you can manage on cold water. This here, my shower, backs up from hot water. So I've brought my dishes through here, right? So then we've got our electric. Right? So go back to the good old days of candles, things like that, the stuff that we can do. They're going to do it to us anyway, people. They're going to do it to us anyway to flip over to the whole new system. Yeah? 54% and due to go up by 33, 32. Yeah, they're going to do this to us anyway, right? They're going to flip us over anyway. Now, remember, there isn't enough lithium, I think it is, to be able to keep all the electric cars going to the level that they want to be able to supply and demand at, right? You've got police officers out there painting their fucking cars for pride, mate. And you've got people that are shifting children off of us to meet her. It's the pink pound. The pink pound has more money than anybody in this world, probably even more than Elon Musk. The pink pound is the most non-talked about um, Bitcoin that is the richest. So what I want to say to you people is what Michael Jackson said. Oh, Elijah, let me move out while you go to the toilet quickly. They don't really care about us. So... It's a system that is using us, doesn't matter what your label is or whatever it is, we are the employment racket. They love it. Just as the kids that cause issues out there. Ah, uh, you had that earlier on. I have a look for it while I walk around a second. Um, so even the social carers, even this multi-agency framework, right? So Flint shit is all over the papers today, which has aggravated me, which is talking about a young girl who was born with a condition that people didn't understand. No, you're not asking me for biscuits just because I'm on a live. No. What is it that you want? We can say hello, but you haven't got the decents on. But if you're not asking me for biscuits just because I'm on a live, what is it you're after? Yeah, see, I need... No, 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 no biscuits. No biscuits. Two seconds. I'm just trying to find his bag. Um, right, I'll find your bag in a minute. Let me go and finish up this in the bathroom and then I'll come and find your bag. Daddy's out at the moment, though. Right, so basically, they're going to put us up by 45% now and then they're going to increase everything. And this is all to do with a big changeover within the system to move us over. So this is about... I've got, and this is where I've been completely thrown and I wanted to do this, but this is why I struggle um, to do lives the way that I need to do it. And I need to move back forward to my sunrise, sunset, blah, 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 blah. But at the moment, while I'm dealing with what's coming at me, and the annoying thing about this company, SEE, is, and it's exactly the same as the multi-agency framework or whatever, you're talking to a different person every bloody time. And step change 
doesn't have any authority. None of them have any authority. Even Portsmouth City Council don't have any authority. So we're dealing with lots of different people in employment who are all doing pretty much a job's worth job, which is all to do with an employment racket, which keeps everything going, which keeps these people from being able to get away with what they're doing. So basically, you're, most of us are all going to be pushed over to meters. I don't use meters because come winter, I don't go out as much as you know during the winter. But at the end of the day, right, as you know, I have always had somebody who does domestic stuff for me, right? So I will show you again, as it is EDS awareness, this is how much they do not functionally care about us as individuals, right? Flintshire County Council, who've got the EDS girl all over the media today, and hopefully Faith and Aaron are watching. But to the gas company, I'm classed as a priority person. None of my supplies are meant to be turned off. I have no issues paying for bills and services that I use, right? So keep your gas off. It was gonna lower my bill for the moment. It will hire my electric because I'm doing this, but I'm gonna jump in the shower with this afterwards and, and get this done. But the fact is, I'm gonna wash up like this. I'm gonna carry through the bowl through this. And the fact is, they couldn't give a flying fuck. They need people like me up at A&E coming in because we've sub or we've done our ulnar bone, as you can see how mine flicks in and around there and coming in with our shoulders and things like that because it continues the employment racket. It feeds it. Just like the lads that are causing problems and the police, they won't do anything about it because they can't. They can't get into that boy's head. They don't know him. All they do, like I said to the youth care result yesterday, I said, them, them same boys, I said, I've had to actually help a family report them to the police. And I said, but damned if you do, damned if you don't. And she's like, look, if you need anything, come in. And it's like, no, 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 because it's all a paperwork multi-agency system. It's like you're all watching um, the Johnny Depp and Amanda Hartman. And it's like, really, people are all getting into it. Could you imagine if our court cases were all open like this? which are talking about the children, not the parents. So this is a bit different. So, yeah. hello, your bank account has just exceeded minus 14. Right, I've got to get on. So I'm going to be downstairs making cash today. <laughs> moving on because I'm moving forward to self-employment. I can't cope within this system and I don't want to be first in line for the next stage. So yes, darling, I'm going to come and find your bag. So I was actually going to show you how much of a nightmare it is but it's a bit difficult today. So, welcome to Who Gives a 